وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِّمَّنْ دَعَا إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الوقتة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته a common dhikr that we do on a regular basis in order to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seek forgiveness for, for him, a dhikr that uh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself committed to and is reported to have said that he recites it or he repeats it over a hundred times in a day is astaghfirullah. Right? Istighfar. Istighfar means to seek forgiveness. It comes from the root letter ghain, fa, and ra, which means to cover. Now, how does that relate to the meaning of seeking forgiveness? Ghafara, from the same root letter, we have another word in Arabic just to, um, uh, just to explain how the meaning of cover up applies to istighfar. Ghafara also is for the word mighfar and mighfar is used for a helmet in arabic and what does a helmet do it covers the head right so again how does ghafara the root meaning apply to istighfar which means to seek forgiveness well it just does not mean to seek forgiveness it also means to cover up the sin so when we say astaghfirullah we are asking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us of our sins and also cover them up keep them private may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our dua it's one of the most simplest duas for istighfar now istighfar can be made at any time of the day at any moment of the day and we can use words that indicate seeking forgiveness any kind of word right of, and like we said, of the most simplest and the easiest is astaghfirullah, ighfirli, all of that, right? Now, the ways of maghfirah, seeking maghfirah, that is also important. Is there the best way to seek istighfar? Absolutely. Like in Surah Taha, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, وَلِلَّهِ الْأَسْمَاءُ husna To Allah belongs all the beautiful names. فَدَعُوهُ بِهَا Therefore, call him or make dua to him with them. When we are seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's most befitting that we call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the names that link the attribute of forgiveness to him. So for example, in the Quran, we have about five to six names that are common commonly used that attribute the or, or, or that attribute the meaning of uh, the one who forgives to the name and those are the first one is that of uh, ghaffar and uh, the meaning of ghaffar is the one who continually covers up sin no matter how many sins we have done ghaffar does not count the number of times you return back to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you ask him for forgiveness he is not keeping tabs anytime you return all you have to do is return with sincerity so anytime we turn back to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ghaffar is right there to cover up our sins to forgive our sins so that's uh, one of the names and then the other name that we have is Ghafoor. Ghafoor is someone who does not look at how big the sin is. It does not matter what kind of a sin it is. He is there to forgive you. Ghafoor therefore look, does not look at the number, the, the, the big or the small size of the sin. He just forgives. And then we have other names like Wasi' al Maghfira, the one who um, whose whose maghfira, whose forgiveness is vast. And then we have Dhul Maghfira, the owner of forgiveness. Then we have another name which is uh Ghafiru Dhamb, the one who forgives sins. And then we have another name that means Khairul Ghafirin, the best of the ones who forgives. So all these names we can use with a simple phrase such as Ighfirli, right? When you, when you say ighfirli and how many times in a day, like it's so simple, anybody can memorize it, right? So you say, Ya ghaffar, ighfirli. Ya ghafur, ighfirli. Ya ghafiru dhamb, Ya ghafiru dhamb, ighfirli. Ya wasi' al maghfira, ighfirli. Ya khayru al ghafirin, Ighfirli, right? So you can use all these names. You call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You draw his attention towards you. And it's just a simple phrase. Ighfirli, right? Or Ighfir lana. If you want to make 
a collective a dua for a group of people, you say, Ighfir lana. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our dua. I want to share with you another hadith of a hadith of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that teaches us to seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but not quite using the names of Allah. Of course, you say Allahumma, but not quite the names that we just spoke about. The phrase itself is so beautiful. It is hinting at the attribute of forgiveness when you are using that dua. So the dua was shared by Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with a man who came to him all hopeless. He's like, I've committed a sin. He did not mention what sin it was. Um, and he was like, I'm, I'm done. I'm destroyed. There's no hope for me, right? At that time, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sat him down and he taught him this dua. And he says, Qul, say, Allahumma maghfiratuk, your maghfira, your forgiveness, awsa'a min dhunubi. It is larger. Your forgiveness is larger than my sins. Wa rahmatuk and your mercy. Aruja indi gives me more hope than my deeds. Min amali, meaning your forgiveness is larger than my sin. Your mercy is more hopeful than all my deeds together. Your rahma gives me more hope than I did anything ever in my life. So forgive me. The man repeats after Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then Rasul says, well, say it again. He repeats it. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, says again. And he repeats it again. And then Rasul says, well, stand up and leave. Your sins have been forgiven. Such a beautiful dua, right? A very simple dua where we are reiterating or we're acknowledging the fact that my deeds are not sufficient. I am dependent on your mercy for the forgiveness of my sin. I am the one who is the most needy, therefore forgive me. Take the time to memorize this beautiful dua, memorize the five names, six names that I have shared in this recording, inshallah. The dua, just to finish this recording once again, Allahumma maghfiratuk awsa' min dhunubi wa rahmatuk arja indi min amali. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to keep us growing in these beautiful, blessed days and nights. Until I see you again, subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun, salamun ala al mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. قد أفلح المؤمنون الذين هم في صلاتهم خاشعون والذين هم عن اللغو معرضون والذين هم للزكاة فاعلون والذين هم لفروجهم حافظون إلا على أزواجهم أو ما ملكت أيمانهم فإنهم غير ملومين